folks welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we have an unboxing as you can see i kind of peaked a little bit i'm sorry i kind of had to make sure it was what i thought it was anyways so this unboxing comes to us from a company that was suggested to me by a subscriber all right so this came to us from kato crafts diamond painting usa i've never heard of kato which it's spelled K-A-D-O. Um, apparently, they're right in Chicago, and they sell and ship from Chicago. So when my subscriber, Susan, so thank you, Susan, for the heads up. My subscriber, Susan, said, hey, have you ever heard of this company? Do you want to maybe possibly try them out? I'm like, uh, yeah, sure. So I went ahead and checked over the inventory to see what I like. There's a couple of them that I did like, but, you know, there was one I was like, when I first buy from a company, I never go really big. So I saw one that was a decent size and I was like, all right, I'll try this one. Well, then I was contacted by Karen and I guess she runs the business. And she was letting me know that I chose, they have two different types of kits. They have a standard kit and a premium kit. Now it's flat rate shipping of $7.95 uh, for your entire order. And so she went ahead and put in a premium kit for me because I ordered a standard and she wanted me to try out a standard and a premium. So I was like, uh, yeah, the more the merrier, right? So she went ahead and threw this in there and I ordered this and editing, Leisha will have all the editing, all the editing, <laughs> she'll have all the information pop up right there. So I ordered this and it only took a little bit to get here. Um, I'm going to guess it got stuck in the Chicago Vortex. We all know what that is. It usually happens whenever you order from overseas. But I'm guessing since it was in Chicago. Yeah. The box is a little banged up that it came in. Which is another reason why I wanted to peek inside. And I didn't want you guys to have to listen to all that noise. So it was a little beat up. But you know what? That is perfectly fine. So I have an invoice. And I have a box. And then I have one of the inside bubble mail or thingadoodles. I also have a coupon from, and there's the little logo, katocrafts.com. I like that image on there. I've seen that somewhere. And then on the back, it tells you to, it's a 20% a off coupon for next time I order. Oh, what's this? DIY crystal card kit. And it says, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, so I got a... Oh, I got a circle boat. All right, so it comes with a white pen, and I'm not sure what that's for, and I'm pretty sure we'll find out. It has some crystals in... Okay, let's... First off, let's, let's get rid of that. Y'all don't care about that. So, focus, folks, focus. Let's see here. Other kits available. Sorry about that, folks. Kids. All right. So this is some of the other kits that they have available. Get you a second to look at those. They have birthday kits and holiday kits and all kinds of free, cool, or not free, I'm sorry, cool kits. And it's www.crystalcarkit.com. And you get a boat, the white pen. Let's see if it tells us what the white pen is for. Choose a design you'd like to complete. Find the bulk bag of marks that's the same letter as the card. And it's in two different languages. I'm not sure what the other language is. Oh, the pen is for you to pick up the diamonds with. See, she's using the pen to pick up the diamonds. That's the magic tool. I've never had that one before, so we'll have to try that out. But yeah, you get this cool thank you card. I'm not sure if this comes in every kit or not, but no, no fuss, no mess, no glue. That's awesome. All right. So you get this cool little card. Or I got this cool little card. The first one, this is the one I actually ordered. It's a 30 by 30. It's just a coffee cup. Just some coffee. Now, I did notice on their site, you can order these completed. And I'm like, well, that takes kind of some of the fun out of it. But I guess some people, you know, do like them completed and they don't want to, you know, do it themselves or they can't. So you know, they might want to get them already completed. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up my mess over here. I apparently am 
throwing stuff everywhere. And I thought I lost my scissors. So let's get into this. So it came in a nice box. This is the premium kit that she sent me. We'll go through that in a few minutes. So it came in this really nice box. And it's got plastic all around it. If you've heard of this company before, please leave a comment down below how your experience was because I've never dealt with them before. This is actually a pretty nice box. And even though the actual box looks like it went five rounds with a Vander Holyfield, this actually is not too bad. It has like one little dent there. It has some steps to diamond painting. Orange. Arts of craft, art of craft, orange. I don't know what that means, but let's get into it, shall we? I don't care about no box. So I know you folks are having a great day. I'm having a great day. So, whoa. All right, so we're gonna get rid of that box. So this is your toolkit. So you get three baggy, four baggies, a blue rectangular, rectangular boat, and some blue wax, and a blue drill pin. No multi-placer. And then your actual canvas is wrapped up with the diamonds. I'm going to presume. Let's get that out of the way. And it's got, is that tape? Yep, it's got tape on it. And it's one of those, like, oil canvases. So you don't have to worry about... Uh, the tape messing up like the back or anything so let's unroll this so it's just like a nice little 30 by 30 something real quick uh let's see first glance we have a legend on one side let's see if we can get this to relax a little bit and because it's clear plastic we don't have to worry about the glue bubbling or anything weird like that so we're gonna roll it's actually a pretty sturdy canvas. Like, it's really nice feeling. It doesn't feel flimsy or cheap, I should say. So we're going to roll it out here. We're going to pull the plastic back. Get it to relax a little bit. I see a time lapse in my future. I think I'm going to start time lapsing all my little ones. <laughs> all right. And it says Eco... Oh, it's on the box, too. E ecologically clean, high definition, non-ironing, shiny diamond. All right, and this is a round. Make sure you guys can actually see this. It is a round. It has 20 colors, which isn't bad. Let's see, those symbols look pretty clear to me. What do you guys think? That 19, I think that's an X. Yeah, that'll be easy to differentiate. There we go. Maybe it's like a little TP. Is it a little TP? You guys comment down below. So it looks like it got letters and numbers and symbols and all kinds of fun stuff. All right. Okay. So 11 and 12 are different colors, I was going to say, because that's black and blue. Let's see if we can find them on here. Oh, yeah. You'll easily be able to differentiate those. All right. So the canvas is nice and clear. Let's check out them diamonds. So if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 20 seconds. All right. So it looks like this is taped together and it says 301. And on the canvas, it does give you the number, the symbol, and the DMC code. So 301, and I have a couple of packages of those. There was no inventory sheet, so I don't know if exactly how many I'm supposed to have of each or whatnot. Um, but that's fine. We'll figure it out here. Process of elimination. So let's see if we can do inventory real quick. This is kind of hard to read. 3857. Yeah, what's hard to read is there's gold, this tiny little gold number on there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's like a tiny little gold number right here on the, the drills. So let's see. 3857 is the last one. Thirty eight. We gonna flip it over, folks.
thought I saw 939, but it was 938, and 938 is right here. This is my 938s here. So I'll have to check those against the color code books. I'm not sure if those are correct DMC numbers. Uh, 310 obviously is, but I'm not sure about the rest of them. So all the drills are there for this one. So I'm going to put this one off to the side somewhere where I won't mess it up. And we're going to get into, and that's a standard kit. So that's what you get with a standard kit and your cool little boat. I like that boat. And then you get some baggies. Yeah, I don't care about that. All right, so let's get into this premium kit. And this premium kit is around. You get to see it before I do. Is it cool? Is it cool? It looks like a dragon. So let's get into it. I don't think I'll need my scissors for this one. I would think that the premium kit would come in the box and the standard kit would come in the bubble mailer. Just, just wondering. I don't know how these businesses work. All right, so... We're going to try to cut into this without messing it up. Alright. So, this one comes with the basic of basics. Oh gosh, we last time we got a... The last time we got a, a package like this where the drill pin was stoked out, it messed up the canvas. So, hopefully it didn't do it on this one. But we have a green boat with no spout. We have a couple of baggies, pink wax, and a drill pin with no multi-placer that is poking through the bag. So, that is your premium kit toolkit. Ooh, the back of it's really soft. Wow. Okay. Whoa. That's freaky. All right. Hold on a second. Let me put these scissors away. Safety first, people. I don't care how cool something is. Safety first. Get, get out of here. Whoa. All right. So this is a 46 by 46. It has a little schematic at the top. Uh... The plastic is like right on the edge there. It's that thick plastic. Oh, geez. All right, so we're going to pull this back to relax it a little bit. There are quite a few bubbles and rivets in this. Uh, yeah, there's some bubbles that we're going to have to work out of it. Um, let's see. The canvas does have a little bit of sparkle to it. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? And at the top it says Cato Craft, diamond painting and craft sold and shipped from the USA. And again, this was shipped from within Chicago. The glue does appear to have been affected by the fact that it was rolled up the way it was. So I, I mean, I got it for free, but I still will contact her to let her know that it came messed up. Um, it says waterproof, I can't read that one, non-ironing, uh, green, and it's like eco-friendly. Um, we're going to stretch it a little bit. Sometimes stretching it will get those wrinkles out. The bubbles aren't too bad. I can easily fix those. But for a premium kit, you'd think it would come in a box and it'd come a little bit better condition than this. So I will let her know, you know, there's a couple of things about that I don't like. Because if this is your premium kit, but your standard kit came in a better condition and in a box, you might want to think about putting the premiums in a box as well so that they don't have the damage. Because you guys can see the damage all over that kit. And it has 33 colors. That's odd. They even have the little numbers on it. It even has the date on here. It says 1, which is the model for this model one name one 46 by 46 and it looks like it says hold on where's the packaging for it doesn't tell me on oh, okay there it is dragon in the morning is what it says around here so dragon in the morning you probably can see it better on camera and then it has like a clock and it's a dragon or yeah it's a dragon drinking a cup of coffee right up my alley if you don't like the noise of the crinkling plastic, please mute your phone for like mm, 30 seconds. Wow. All right. So drill quality looks really good. It even has the tiny little number, which if you remember my videos before, the tiny number two means 200. The number eight means, I want to say, what was eight? 7,000 or 8,000? So it tells me, sorry, all right, 
So that, that tells me how many is in those bags. Um, I'm gonna do inventory like a boss, but I'm gonna do it on this side so I can actually see the key. I'll come back to let you know what's all there, give you my final thoughts. You ready? Go. diamonds are counted in a present for so it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to work on minus I will have to fix those bubbles the plastic does not really go over the glue so right where the plastic is see the plastic doesn't go over the glue here and you just pick it up like that uh, drill symbol quality for this one, uh, that one looks a little blurry. Is that a one? Is there a one on here? Yep, number nine. So some of those symbols might be a little hard to differentiate. Um, but I will find a way to work through it. But this is their premium kit. To be completely honest, uh, for it being a premium kit, it came in worse condition than the standard kit. Uh, so if I had any advice to give to them, it would be to work on the shipping and handling of the premium kits. Because if they're going to be premium kits, then your standard kit shouldn't come looking better than your premium kits. Again, it had, it has bubbles and stuff all in it. Like those wrinkles and stuff you see are actually going to be bubbles in the canvas, which it looks like they use the port glue method, but I've never seen the port glue method have bubbles like that, where the glue is essentially just coming off the canvas. Let me get, there we go. So it's like bubbled up right there. Again, I'll have to take the X-Acto knife to it, and those are all over the canvas. It's not just that one spot. But I'm highly disappointed in the premium kit, because if you're going to pay premium prices, you expect to get something in better condition. And to be completely honest, I'm a lot happier with this kit than I am with the premium kit. The premium kit was sent to me for review. This kit I did purchase myself, so at least the kit that I purchased came in great condition. It came in a box. This one came in a bubble mailer rolled up around the diamonds, and it didn't fare well. It did take a little bit for it to get to me. Not too long, but it did take a bit for it to get to me, especially since it was coming from Illinois and only had to come to North Dakota. Uh, but you guys know that stuff takes a little bit longer to get to me up here in North Dakota because I am on the border of uh, Canada. I'm like 40 minutes away from Canada. So uh, honestly, I'm not too impressed by the premium kit. It... Yeah, I, I love the standard kit, but, you know, test them out for yourselves if you would like. Go over to Kato.com, KatoCrafts.com. I'll go ahead and link this company down in the description box below. But if you have any other questions, comments, concerns, if you've dealt with this company before, please leave your info down in the, or leave your comment down in the comment section below. Let us know what you think of this company, if you've tried them, how are their products, how do you like them, but... The soft back is fine, but on this material, it makes those symbols just a little bit hard to read. Some of those symbols are going to give me issue, like a uh, perfect example, as I'm looking at it now. Where'd it go? It's not really very malleable like most canvases are. It seems a little stiff because of, I'm going to guess, the stuff that they use on the back. But, uh... There's a couple of blurry symbols down here. Like if you can see, where's my pen? We're going to get out one of my pens here. If you can see, yeah, see it doesn't want to fold or bend or anything. Um, let me find it again. Right here. That's going to be hard to read. That is going to be hard to read. 
these symbols are blurry and this is their premium kit so i'm not too sure about this company if you like to check them out for yourself check out their inventory again i will link them down below uh if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't give it a thumbs down at this point i don't give a crap either way that is my review for kato crafts you can check them out they're shipping within the u.s they're sold and shipped within the u.s um so yeah that's it for me, folks. As always, please remember to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.